Hi, I'm Brian Cox, I'm a physicist and I'm at Can Lions. Hi, I'm Sean Ely, I'm a comms commander, I work at Zenith Optimedia and I'm at Can Lions. Can you build a framework around the creative process if you wanted to do something? So for a good example, a topical example, if you want to sell something to some group of people, um, can you use data, can you measure their behaviour and can you interpret that data to such an extent that you can uh, direct the creative process? At the Adobe session that kind of kicked off yesterday, Jennifer Walsh, who is kind of quite a charismatic New York creative who runs her own uh, design company, was actually saying that her agency do kind of better work when there's a framework of rules. That notion of uh, giving yourself a better chance to be brilliant. In science, that you can be creative in designing an experiment to observe some particular thing, or you can be creative in building a theory, some mathematical framework or framework of rules that you like to test, or indeed in doing the testing. So there's lots of ways of being creative. I think the, the key point, though, is that there is an objective measurement of being wrong, which is that no matter how creative or wonderful or great you are, no matter what your track record is or what your name is or how many awards you've got, if the thing you produce, your theory, disagrees with the data, then it is worthless. And I think that's extremely important, actually. So, so their data is data's providing a, a measurement of how good your creativity is, in a sense. We see creativity as a process of problem solving and producing the best outcome, then I think it can allow for what we traditionally talk about on stage here, which is kind of stuff that looks great uh, and is you know, visually or experientially arresting with the stuff that we're talking about, which is the framework to help you get there. Um, so the, I guess, creative strategy as well as creative outcome.